Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Friday, the 29th day of June, the 16th day of Tammuz. That means on Shabbos, it's going to be the 17th of Tammuz, but we will be commemorating the fast that begins the three weeks and all of the sad laws on this coming Sunday. So, next law for you. Uh, during the three weeks, there are no haircuts allowed. Um, if a person has a mustache and the mustache has grown over his lip to the point where it gets in the way of his food, then he could just mildly trim that. Um, although, according to some, you should not do that during the week in which Tisha B'Av actually falls out. But during the rest of the three weeks, it is okay to just give a little snip if the mustache is hitting your food. Combing hair is totally allowed during the three weeks. An adult should not give a haircut to a child during the three weeks. And uh, for business, if there are people who, you know, go to work every day and they work in the kind of workplace where they're expected to be clean shaved, so they can shave if they need to, but they should try and refrain from shaving uh, and haircuts at least during the nine days, or at the very least, at least in the week in which Tisha B'Av actually falls. Um, haircuts are prohibited for men and for ladies during the three weeks. But if a lady has a little bit of hair here around the temples that uh, needs to, well, you know, it's sticking out from the hair covering, then that could be trimmed down um, if necessary. A married lady or ladies of marriageable age are allowed to shave their legs during the three weeks. That is uh, something that Reb Shimon Eider heard orally from Reb Moshe Feinstein, Zatzal. If there's a bris during the three weeks, the moel, that's the circumciser, the sandik, that's the man holding the baby during the bris, and the father of the baby boy are all allowed to take haircuts and shaves in honor of the bris, uh, but not in the week in which Tisha B'Av falls. Uh, I keep saying the phrase, the week in which Tisha B'Av falls. Later, we're going to define that as pretty interesting this year, because this year, Tisha B'Av falls on a Sunday. At least we'll be commemorating it on a Sunday, so stay tuned about how we're going to treat that. Uh, this coming year. So please remember, I'll give you more laws uh, following Shabbos, but the fast begins at the crack of dawn on Sunday morning. Have a great Shabbos. This Shabbos you can have all of your regular Shabbos enjoyments. We don't, uh, we don't keep any laws of mourning during, the, during Shabbos, even though it is the 17th of Thomas this Shabbos. You can have yourself an ordinary Shabbos. Thanks for logging on and log on again after Shabbos for more. Bye-bye. Good Shabbos.